We are going to do light game from the boat. Beautiful snapper. Okay. Fooling around in the heat of the summer. Huge, it's, it's, it's huge. Hello, baby. You wanna bite me? <laughs> leave me, you bastard, please leave me. It's like a pit bull. These are the black bait fish. Marinos with tungsten. The top water temperature. Whoa, 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 whoa. The surface temperature is extremely hot, so the fish are near the bottom. Come on! No. Hey guys! Today is Sunday. My friend Marinos visited me for lunch. And we decided to go for a short evening fishing. It's too hot, but our uh, uh, desire for fishing is bigger than uh, our uh, logic, because it's very hot. Let's see how it will go. We have a couple of hours of fishing. Let's take advantage. Guys, it's a very hot Sunday. Super hot. It's... <laughs> it's 43 degrees today. It's burning hot. Uh, you can see the sweat dripping. Wow. Let's see what we are going to do. We are going to do light game from the boat because with these conditions, Probably it's the only thing you can do to have some fun. Let's see how it will go with him, because usually he's a... I call him the goat leg, because he's super, super gademis. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. We can see there are bait fish near the bottom, here. And we can see also these are the black bait fish in midwaters. So probably we're going to have other predators hunting. The top water temperature as we speak is 27 and 12 Celsius degrees. It's insane! With these surface temperatures, most fish, actually uh, whole fish are going near the bottom, especially bait fish. Let's see if we can see some. So that's the level we have to focus if we want to get some fish. For today fishing, I'm going to use once more the SG6 light game, 312 uh, grams uh, casting uh, power. Uh, it's a 2.43 meter uh, rod that I have combined with an SG8 2500 uh, high gear with a PE. 0.6 braid and 0.17 millimeter leader our LRF semi-soft uh, fluorocarbon leader uh, and I'm going to use uh, small uh, jig pencils so I'm going to use jig pencil micro Z in 8 grams and Marinos is going to use 5 grams 5 grams of what? A micro jig? Oh, no thanks <laughs> you don't know what you're going to use. <laughs> He's going to use uh, the micro jig, the tanks and the flatline uh, TG, five grams, flatline. very small ones. Yeah. Let's see if the fish will uh, <laughs> cooperate. The bait fish are near the bottom, so there's exactly where I have to focus. Marinos got a clever grace. Hmm, this thing bites really hard. 
I hope it will bite him in the ass. That's a nice strike. Hmm. Things might be hard, but at least when you know where all these are gathered, at least you know where to try. No matter the size, snappers are truly awesome fighters. A beautiful snapper on jig pencil. Amazing fish, but I have to release fast. Ciao bella, ciao ciao ciao. Of course, I will cast again on the same spot. Today my fishing is focused at 10 to 14 meters. I allow my jig pencil to touch the bottom. The bottom here is not rough, so there is not actual risk. Once I touch the bottom, I start to walk the dog my jig pencil. Once I'm in midwaters, I will allow my jig pencil to go once more near the bottom and start over. Now, I will start to walk my lure once more. And then let it drop again. This pattern seems to be very effective. It seems that this lift and drop and walking makes Jig's pencil flashing and look like a wounded fish. Well, we will never know what fish actually think about it. The point is that they eat it. They take it very easily. Up, up. It seems that this time I got a sea brim. Aha. Aha. A wild, aggressive and powerful sea brim. <laughs> well, Pulling around in the heat of the summer pays. <laughs> nice one. That was a nice sea brim. And of course I will keep because it's delicious. And uh, probably it's going to be part of my dinner. Let's see if we can get something else. So Marinos, uh, you are not very <laughs> bad luck today, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How this happened? <laughs> are you broken, man? I don't know. <laughs> Probably he's broken today. <laughs> when I first thought about this fishing, 
Guys, honestly, I thought about a total disaster. The hot weather, the calm sea are really, really, really a nightmare for fishing. So what started us fooling around to spend some hours, actually, there is to be lots of fun. What do you think? Would you like a fishing like that? Please, comment now. I really want to know your opinion. Offshore light game is so relaxing and super fun, of course. Okay. Oh, huh. that fish feels like a clever race. I should be careful of my fingers. I think this is a Dracula. <laughs> a Dracula fish. Yes. Mm, yes. <laughs> you know, guys, the Dracula fish. It's delicious, very tasty, and uh, when you ah, it, it tries to bite you. Yes, it does. If you touch it, it will try immediately to bite you. I will show you. Ow! 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 Ah! Ah! <laughs> wow! <laughs> very bad. <laughs> it's terrible. It's terrible! <laughs> and I will show you why it's Dracula, because it has very, very pointy teeth. Like a Dracula. Ow! Ow! Come on! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> ah, it's impossible! Impossible! Come on! Come on! Ow! And very, very slimy! Yes, <laughs> it's the only, the only way, the only way. Open your mouth. Yes, open your mouth. I will give you something to bite. Come on. Come on. Yes. Guys, this fish is super delicious. If you fry it with butter, it's one of the best fish you can eat, guys. It's I, I, I can't describe it. It's fantastic. In Greece, we call it parrotfish or katsula. But it bites and it has long teeth. <laughs> you don't want to mess with this uh, little uh, guy. Look, it's like a pit bull. <laughs> Guys, with so calm conditions, it's, uh, <laughs> it's except that it's a torture for fishing. Uh, you don't have many options. You can't do many fishing styles. It's uh, fish are super lazy. The surface temperature is extremely hot, so the fish are near the bottom, and the only way you can get some is uh, fishing near the bottom. So uh, soft lures or uh, micro jigs uh, can't do the job in these specific moments. If they, in the next days the wind gets uh, stronger. Uh, could be better. It will mix the waters and uh, stabilize the temperature and then yes, we might have some action on the surface. But definitely not today. No guys, not in August in such a hot uh, day. Impossible. Marinos, what are you doing there? A fishing lover loves fishing itself. Not the big fish only. <laughs> Come <bear. laughs> Loving fishing means to love every second that you spend in the sea even if you don't get anything. So, in a day like that, that we have lots of strikes, even not from big fish, we should be extremely grateful and appreciate each strike. I've been blessed in my life with many fish and big fish, as most of you already know. However, I will share a small secret with you now. Being involved with many fishing styles, lighter, heavier or medium, truly evolves me as an angler. Apart the fact finding myself happy as a child after each strike, even from small fish. <laughs> I know it sounds ridiculous. I have to tell you that I have found connections 
between lighter and heavier fishing styles that helped me improve myself using knowledge I received from one to another. Think about it. Okay. Ah. What is this? Ah. Maybe another uh, uh, Sibrim or a small uh, Dentex. Maybe. Let's see. If it is a Sibrim, it is welcome. If it is a Snapper, it's not. Not another snapper! Come on! Come on! Uh, yeah. Can you please leave uh, by yourself? No? Okay. I will release you. One more time. No. We don't hold fish like that. Open your... Let me... Release you, baby. Come on. Oh, yes. yes. Very nice. Ooh. Ooh. Wee. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Exactly. Bye bye. I would never keep a snapper like that. Never. Some people do. Guys, don't. Jig pencil is. Super easy to use. As I have said many times, it's not a jig, it's not a pencil, it is both. So be creative. Just uh, micro walk the dog it and it will do the job. Uh, steady retrieve, it will do the job. Do whatever you want. Use it as a jig and uh, keep on uh, micro jigging it. It will do the job. It's up to you guys. Coming back to what I said earlier, because I know that many of you wonder how is possible light game help you become a better angler in heavy game and how is possible fishing smaller fish can provide you knowledge to become more efficient when you fish big fish. Hmm, I will tell you this. Guys, what do big fish eat? They eat smaller fish. Our lures are imitations of smaller fish. If you know how smaller fish act, how they behave, how they hunt, where they stay according to the currents, knowledge that you can get only by fishing them extensively, then you will have a powerful tool in your hands. Knowledge. Marinos, what did you got? Oh, a dragonfish, very nice! <laughs> Don't even think about it. Dragonfish or weaver is a very dangerous and venomous fish. Never touch it. Okay. Mm. Hopefully, I won't have the same like you. Maybe a a katsula or a comber. A beautiful katsula. Oh, oh, male. Yes. Hello, baby. You wanna bite me? Ah, yes, you wanna bite me. You evil fish. Don't buy. Ow! Hi, yay, yay! Whoa! Look! It! <laughs> Look at the, the Dracula marks! <laughs> it beat me! Oh. <laughs> Very evil fish! Come on! Let me take off your. Ow! No, 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 no. Ah, oh, impossible. Ah, come on. 
<laughs> Bro, it's, it's, it's torture. <laughs> It knows it got me and it doesn't let me. <laughs> Guys, I wanna cry. <laughs> no. <laughs> leave me. Leave me, you bastard fish. Leave me. Leave me alone. Ah! <laughs> it doesn't let me go. It doesn't let me go, bro. Bro, bring me the, the grip. <laughs> bro, bring me the grip. <laughs> it's painful. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Bring me the grip, bro! <laughs> Come on, give me, give me, give me, give me! Ah, no, the, the, not the grip, this! Ah. 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 No, look! Look at the bite marks! Ah. Impossible, guys! Look! It, it, ah. <laughs> look at this! This, it's impossible, impossible! <laughs> Marinos with tungsten got another one from the belly. Marinos, can you hold it, please? No. <laughs> Come on, hold it. No, 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 no. Yours is bigger, no. it will be very interesting. <laughs> eh? <laughs> Our short uh, evening fishing uh, goes uh, well. Uh, what do you think? Uh, it's fun at least. <laughs> Let's continue in case we get something better. Remember that in light game you should use the minimum diameter of braid and leader as possible. The thinner the braid and the leader, the better the action of your jig or lure. Remember that. That's a rule. The most freely your jig drops and walks, the better. Believe me. Okay. Oh. Another Dracula. <laughs> oh, yeah, but I'm not gonna touch you this time. No, 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 I had enough of bites. No more, please. For evening, a uh, few hours of fishing, it goes fantastic. What do you think? <laughs> but it's so hot. <laughs> wow, we are melting. <laughs> it's true that almost on every cast we get a fish. Small fish. But it's okay. We have strikes. Despite the very hot weather, we are having fun and we enjoy it. This lizard fish looks a lot like a weaver, but it's totally harmless. Unfortunately, both live on the same areas. Before you touch any type of fish, you should be able to recognize it and double check. We have to agree that strikes, especially continuous strikes, are addictive. So no matter how hot the temperature is, we always find courage for another cast. Oh, small comber. Oh, come on, come on, come on, baby. Combers, painted combers, lizard fish, one after another. So much fun. Marinos, with a 5 gram flatline TG, is catching more fish than me, but unfortunately he doesn't have his camera with him, simply because he visited me just for lunch. Hmm. A baby Dracula fish that I want to release, but I will have to suffer the bite to release it. Come on! Come on! But it's impossible. Are you gonna let me? Oh. Ah. Ah, ah, don't try to bite me. Don't bite, yes, bite yourself. Much better. Much better. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, good. Oh. But as I have said, 
Many times in the past, as long as your lure is in the water, there are chances for the big one. Even if you are doing light game. Watch this. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Baby comber. Baby. Α, 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 That's a big one. <laughs> Whoa. No, it's not a dentex. It goes on the surface. It's on the surface. So maybe it's something different. It's not a dentex. At least see it, because with 0.17 liter, whoa, 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 okay, maybe a, an albacore, huh? yes, whoa, an albacore or a bonito. Let's see. It's a bonito. I think, yes, a bonito. A bonito on zinc pencil. Come on. This is not a bonito, it's carpaccio. <laughs> But at this season bonito it's very crazy. I have to tire it.
because with with the zero seventeen. Yes. <laughs> we have to fight defensively. Come on! <laughs> Come on! I don't have all day! Where is my short jigging equipment to show you some tricks? Ah, on the surface. Impressive, huh? Whoa! Whoa! No. 
Okay. I'm risking putting more drag pressure, but also I have to put some oil on my line roller because this summer got so much salt. Okay. Okay. It's it seems that it's yes. Super tired. Uh. Whoa, 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 yes. uh. no, 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 and that's one of the big, uh, the very, very big uh, disadvantages of GoPro. And I hope that the guys in GoPro, okay, are. Uh, <laughs> Look at this monster! <laughs> I hope the guys in GoPro fix this issue because you can't lose uh, valuable action. Whoa! Whoa, oh, 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 oh. Whoa. Impossible. It's impossible. It's a huge, it's a, it's a, it's huge. <laughs> I was lucky that half of the fish was outside of the mouth and it was taking all the bites and scratches if you can see. So my leader is still intact. Look at the bites. <laughs> Incredible. You pay a huge amount of money to have a, an action camera you can trust. In this case, a GoPro 11. And it keeps on uh, closing down from uh, heat. It's... Come on, guys. Come on. Guys, we can't continue anymore. It's super hot. It's extremely, extremely hot. And uh, after that nice fish, we don't need anything else. So it's time to go back. I hope uh, you enjoyed it. If you did, please comment now. I need uh, to know your opinion. And stay tuned for more cool things. Okay? See you soon, guys. We are running for our lives. Ah, uh, <laughs> incredible. Too hot! <laughs>